Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm just going to run through some of the apps that are available in Canva. Some of them are really good. And I know unless you're actually you sit down and explore Canva, you actually don't really get exposed to these. So I'm just going to run through some of them that I think are really good and really worth giving a go. So I just have Canva open on Instagram square size. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a an image of a person. So I'm going to pick this girl because she's kind of she's nice and bright. And she has a really good expression on her face. So the apps for Canva are located within this little icon here. So when you click on it, it will bring up a whole usually at the top it says like featured whatever has been kind of recently added but if you scroll down there's absolutely loads and loads of different kinds of apps and they do all kinds of things but today I'm just going to show you how we can manipulate photos with some of these so the first one we're going to search for is one called avatar so it's called avatarify so basically, this is the icon that you're looking for here. So when you have your picture selected and you click on the avatar if I icon and we click on avatar and replace and it will avatar your image, basically. So within a, you know, a minute or so, it has changed this into an avatar kind of image, which is, you know, amazing. It like because so she's kind of kind of cartoonified but not not fully the next one i'm going to show you i'm going to use the same image all the way through so we can then you know get a kind of feel for for each one so the next one we go back into apps and we're gonna say an a animify and you get this little icon so the same thing again, animify and replace. And this is the image then that we get when we click animify. So it's, I think it's really good. Do you know, now the hands are, hmm, they're a little peculiar maybe, but if you just wanted to use the face of, of an image or um, of one of the selected elements, I think it works really well. And again, back into apps and this time we're going to look for one called Futurify, which is pretty good as well. So they all kind of do, you know, they're all, it's the same process for all of them. They just give you a different look on an image, but like this is, I think it's absolutely amazing. So you end up with this kind of futuristic, it's not terribly futuristic, but it is certainly, um, very graphic and very kind of hand drawn with like using markers or um, it's I think it's really effective as well. The next one I'm going to show you is one called Photo Stylist. So again, when you click on it, this is the icon that you are looking for. And when you click on it, then the only thing about this one is that you actually have to go and choose a file. So you have to upload a file. And you then either get, have the choice of sketch, abstract or autumn. So uh, so we'll go sketch and see what they come up with. So this is the image that it has generated. So uh, <laughs> it's fairly ropey looking. Um, I look about a hundred years old and but I mean it like although <laughs> so the subject matter probably wasn't great but like it has it has it does look like a sketch like it's a bit it's a bit chunky looking but I mean it's it still works as it still works as an image so um, okay and then as I say if we were to try say a different uh, we'll go for this one this time and we'll click on abstract and generate image and see what see what it comes up with so this is the image that it has generated so again I mean like yeah it's fairly abstract my teeth are a bit wonky but um 
But the scarf is is really nice detail in it, and um, and my jumper and my hair is looking uh is looking quite nice as well. So you know, so you just it's something you could play around with. Um, but the the option the option to use it is it's fantastic that it's there. The next one I'm going to show you is one called Paintify. So if you put Paintify in, or even if you just put paint in the search bar, it'll it'll still come up. Um, it'll still show you this this icon. This is the Paintify app. So it'll say upload your image or select one in your design to Paintify. So we're going to select this one because because uh, it's already there, and I just want to show you, you know, all of them, all of the different apps together. So we're going to paintify and replace. And this is the image that it has come up with. So like I think that is spectacular. You know, it's it's like a watercolor um, like her hair and everything is really good. Like it's really that's really impressive, I think. <laughs> so the next one I'm going to show you is one called Face Artist. So again, if you just key in face, it'll it'll throw it up for you. Uh, the only thing is, so it says you selected image or upload your face image and then it works slightly different in that it's asking you to key in what kind of style you would like your image to become. So it's using, it's going to use AI to generate a new image. So I have selected this one and I've tried, I've tried a few of them and they don't, um, they don't actually work. It throws up an error message. So when we click on use selected and we're going to say we want a 19th century oil painting and we click on generate. So when I click generate, I get this error message. We're sorry, something went wrong at our end. Please try again later. So I'm not sure why it's not working because when I try with an upload an image, it does work, but it could be just that this might be too vibrant or, I mean, it shouldn't really matter. The AI doesn't know that this is a modern image and I'm trying to make it into a 19th century oil painting. It shouldn't make any difference, but for some reason it, it kind of does. So, so if we upload an image instead, and again, we just go with this image and we'll make it a 19th century oil painting. So this is what it has come up with, which is pretty, it's pretty cool looking actually. Do you know, I mean, yeah, it's a bit wonky and it doesn't uh, remotely look like me, but it's, uh, it mean, it would do if you were looking for a 19th century oil painting. Anyway, as I say, uh, I've tried it a few times with the with the original image of this girl and it would it won't work for me so, um, you might need to just kind of keep trying or else um, the image that you're using might not be just right. The AI is coming on in leaps and bounds and who knows where it will be even in a month's time let alone six months. So the last thing I want to show you is part of Canva itself so we're just going to use this lady again so i'm just going to place her again and center her and if we go if we click on her and click on edit photo the magic studio appears and most of the magic studio is actually um, part of the pro but down at the bottom so there was uh, the availability of you could go in and you could select an image and you could use a thing called Prisma and it would change your image into a cartoon for you. But although you can go back to the old photo editor, it's only available until the 22nd of April, which is only a few weeks away. So I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's not going to be available in in like a month's time so um but what we can do is we can show we can use canvas ai and i could just show you what what can be done so when we click on magic edit for example and we're just going to increase the brush brush size because otherwise we'll be here forever and then it says continue 
and it says describe your edit so it will be created for you using AI so if we want to um, key in uh, transform my image into a cartoon character 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 and you can make it brighter this is inspiration so and it also tells you that what I was saying a few minutes ago that um, faces hands or legs isn't intended for magic edit so yeah it kind of it can get get a bit <laughs> ropey so you click on generate and we'll see what it comes up with so this is what it has come up with so like it has kind of cartoonified maybe this one yeah like you can see that that it's not um photo reel anymore and um, that one's a bit pale and that one so probably this one is is the best so like it hasn't completely changed it into a cartoon character but it has certainly um softened it a bit so then if you're happy with that you can generate new results or you can just click on done so i'm just going to go to grid view just to show you what we have generated in that short amount of, amount of time so like they're all pretty impressive i think well maybe not that one <laughs> but like they like certainly the the art one and the the avatar one i think they're they're really good I know lots of people just like dive into Canva and they just go to elements and they add a text box and add a add an element and add a an effect and lots don't realize that within the apps there's so much more that you can do in Canva it's astounding I think it's and especially with AI on board now you can just create and you can generate so much stuff that is so professional looking so really, I really encourage you to, to give it a go. So if you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.